When the mind and body are working well, food is fuel. Food as fuel helps us to keep well, with healthy organs, strong bones and an alert mind. Hunger is real, but our minds can trick us. Real hunger occurs when the body tells the brain. The stomach grumbles, taste buds awaken, energy is low. And then there's trick hunger. Our mind can trick us into eating. We have beliefs, we have triggers, and we also have habits. What beliefs do you have? Here's a few examples. I deserve a treat after a hard day. I have to finish everything on my plate. Food is too expensive to waste. And what triggers your eating? I'm feeling stressed, bored or lonely. That food looks and smells so yummy. The packet is open so it just has to be eaten. And then what habits do you have? I like some chocolate when I watch TV. I always have a dessert after dinner. Or how about the cinema means popcorn? When we see or smell food, we get a dopamine hit. Dopamine makes us feel good. And of course we want more of it. And the more we have, the more we want. But sugar gives us this pleasure hit too, which is why we crave it. But our minds are very powerful and they can also help us achieve our goals. So is your hunger real or a trick? Let's look at what's happening as we eat. The stomach blends the ingredients. It tells the brain when it's full, as long as you listen and don't override it. The pancreas then helps regulate sugar. But if you eat too much sugar too quickly, regulation is difficult to control. Insulin is the message to the liver to make glycogen from too much glucose. Too much glycogen is made into fatty parcels and sent round the body. Too much fat, too much sugar, increases the size and number of fat cells. The intestines are the final part of the digestion journey. And it's worth remembering, when you're full, you stop tasting the food. So is your mind tricking you to eat more?